Hey guys, this is Jagan signing up from Tech Tutor. In this video podcast, we are going to see how to use PyQt file to develop a GUI based application in uh, Python. And uh, this is going to be a bit uh, intermediate to advanced uh, uh, demo. So basically, uh, wherein we are going to use uh, Splitter, we are going to be using uh, uh, MVC, right, uh, Model View Controller Architecture based uh, uh, widgets. Uh, Right, so it's going to be a bit uh, long video. Uh, hope you would uh, like this. Right. Okay, so let me switch to Ubuntu, and I'm going to start with main dialog dot py. Right. I'm going to say from py qt five qt widgets import q dialog. And I, like I said, I'm going to use splitter and I'm going to be using file system model okay, from PyQt5, Qt core module, I'm going to import Q directory okay, and the rest as, as and when required will import. I'm going to call this dialog as main dialog and I'm going to inherit from Q dialog. Okay. And I'm going to define the constructor, so which is a init function, and self parent equals none. This is going to be the topmost, so parent is no no parent. And let's call the super, that is a base class, Q dialog, and it's init. And I'm going to be passing this parent. Okay, and I'm going to declare Q tree control I'll copy from this I'll say Q tree view and list view okay fine I want this as a member variable so hence I'm going to say self dot list view and Q list view and before that I would like to create the splitter splitter q splitter okay that's it and i'm going to be passing this as the parent fine so and i'm going to be selecting file i'm going to create a file model so with this model i'm going to uh, set the filter so that uh, the list view that appears on the right side it's going to show files and directories right q file system model okay and out on this model I'm going to set some filter set filter Q directory dot all files and Q directory all directories okay that's it and file model dot set root path I'm going to be setting Q directory current path basically you can provide any path here fine same way I would like to create the tree view tree view q tree view splitter and I'm going to be creating a drive model because I, I would like to show all the drives like C drive or whatever I mean CD drive and uh, hard disk drives are that are available and I'm going to be showing all the drives so I'm going to create one more file system model and in the drive model I'm going to set root path as same as the other file model so current path okay drive model dot set root path is q okay i think we have done this already and i'm going to be setting the filter set filter for here i'm going to show all the drives okay and any directories that are there all directories at the same time i don't want to show the dot and the dot dot folders so i'm going to 
say q directory q directory dot no dot and dot dot okay okay we have set the filter we have created the dry model we have set the root path and set filter all good okay now i am going to write the main dot py main dot py or here i am going to import the system path system module and i am going to be importing qt widgets import q application Let's define the main function. Okay, the app q application system dot org v okay, system dot exit and let's invoke the event loop. That is execute function. Or here, let's create the dialog instance. That is main dialog, and let's show the dialog. Let's see if there are any errors. I'm going to be using Python 3 main.py. Okay, looks like I have not invoked the main function. Let me invoke the main function. Okay, we're getting a couple of errors. Basically, I guess we have not imported the main dialog. So if you look at this, the main dialog is available in a file called main dialog. So let's import from the file name main dialog i would like to import the class main dialog okay so we are getting a few errors here so a queue directory has no attributes attribute all drives okay let's go there main dialog line number 17 all drives okay let's refer the all drives okay it's called drives okay fine let's check if you have set the layout and things like that i guess i've not set the layout okay i'm going to be importing layout q hbox layout over here I'm going to say layout q hbox layout and to the layout I'm going to be adding the splitter add widget splitter okay and I'm going to set the layout self dot set layout layout done okay we have the tree and uh, this one and it's not populated right now so let's see why they are not populated okay so if you look at this uh, we are not attached to the we are not attached to the model with the list view or tree tree view that is an issue so we are going to be associating the model with the view self dot tree view dot set model drive model okay same way let's also connect self dot list view set model will invoke the will pass the file model okay let's see if the output is coming correct right okay so we see uh, name size and type and so on in fact it would be nice if we can just have the name the that is the first column rest all the other columns so let's go and hide the same let's create this let's go over here in the tree view self dot tree view we would like to hide the column one two and three the zeroth column first there is a first column we'll retain okay it looks like this this is what we want okay now what we would like to do is we would like to connect whenever the uh, tree uh, tree control or the tree view is clicked basically we would like to update the list view that appears on the right side of the splitter 
ok. Let us go to the main dialog and let us connect the signal that is self dot uh, basically tree view tree view dot clicked ok. Whenever this is clicked we would like to do a connect to self dot on tree view clicked. This is a slot function we are going to define ok. Let us define the slot function define on tree view clicked ok self comma index ok or here we are going to retrieve the path whenever the uh, tree view is clicked and then we are going to set it as the root path for the other model list model right str path ok. So, we are going to say self dot tree model dot file info index we are going to retrieve the absolute path absolute file path ok. Now, we are going to say list view dot set root index self dot list model dot set root path and we are going to pass the str path done ok. If everything goes well whenever we click on the left side tree view it has to update the right side list view ok. Home not happening ok. So, I think uh, I have done some uh, mistakes here. So, basically we need to check main dialog line number 42 main dialog line number 42 ok. It is not tree model right it is drive model drive model and this I would like to call it as file model that is what we have declared right file model. Home. Ok main dialog ok the uh, object does not have an attribute called drive model let us see if we have declared that as a member variable right. Yeah I have not declared that as a member variable let me add this self ok self this model also we will make it as member variable self dot self ok and we will add the self over here as well. So, now this makes it as a member variable. So, we will be able to refer this from the other function other member functions. Let us click home ok it is updating now as expected ok. So, this is an interesting application right. So, basically if you look at this this is the splitter that we uh, we would like to understand here. This looks like a Windows Explorer kind of application right. So, if all we have is we have one single dialog main dialog and that main dialog has a splitter with the splitter we have added on the left side we have added a tree, tree view and the on the right side to display files and folders we are showing a we are using a list view right. So, basically this one single application demonstrates how you can use PyQt and uh, how splitter can be utilized to develop a windows explorer style kind of application and it also explains how uh, I mean you can use MVC architecture right. So, basically it is inbuilt we are not going to uh, develop or design this from scratch basically if you look at the, uh, the list view and the tree view basically they use a model. So, in this case we are using file system uh, system model basically the underlying data that is the file system. Uh, is uh, that is a data which is represented by the model right the data is represented by the model and whenever the file system changes automatically the view the list view and the corresponding tree view will get updated that is a uh, powerful uh, MVC architecture right. 
hope you like this video if you like this video basically uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and if you have any comments or questions please leave a comment i'll try to get back to you okay thank you